Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome and thank you so very much for joining me on this Sunday for updates. Updates is what's going on in my craft room this week. It could be craft projects, it could be tidying, sometimes it could be spray painting outside, you never know. Welcome, welcome. If this is your first one, you should know that there's no theme. It's just whatever I did this week. And if this video is a little much for you, then try something more organized on my channel. I do have videos that are specific to one topic. So let's get started. It is Sunday morning. It is 440 in the morning and I've been up so long that I've already uh, snuggled Wilson and he's back to bed and he's now shocked that I've turned on all the lights. I usually roll my videos out about 8.45 Pacific time so I figured I better make this now because who knows I'm, I might need a nap by 8.45. <laughs> so we have a little bit of happy mail here and I'll get first I'll talk about what I've been working on and get this stuff out of the way. This week I worked on my December daily. It's fatter than it was. I have all the video done. I just need to edit and you can watch that on Monday, I think. So far I'm having a great time. I definitely have plenty of pages. So if it's sort of an artsy page like this one, I'm not gonna use it for a page number. And then I had another like cute little pocket in here and I decided to skip that. I don't have as much like memorabilia as I would normally have. Candy wrappers, receipts, you know, the trash that gets in your purse and then you pull it out and put it in your book. I don't have that because I'm not really going places. Oh, here's another one. So I stamped it, but I'm not gonna use this little flap as a page. So if you wanna know about December Daily and this journal that I made, that's a Monday series. And Tony, I wanted you to know that this journal cover is, I can't remember exactly, I think it's a cereal box with wrapping paper that you gave me. So when you're trying to figure out your COVID journal or whatever you're going to call it, it can be any size you want. Cereal box, Triscuit box, whatever you decide. Or it could be like just a cute little mini thing too. Anything. This week, I got the whim on like Thursday night and decided I was going to make my mom a big set of birthday and thank you cards. And I put one peek at this basic gray paper on my Instagram, but after that I couldn't because I figured she would know it was for her. I mean, she might have already been like, wait a minute, I want that when I saw the paper. This is basic gray. They don't make paper anymore. They do fabric now, but in my stash I had it and I'm down to scraps. So I have a video on that. I think that'll be like, I think that's Wednesday because Tuesday is another one in the craft room tidying series. I don't think I worked on this collection at all this week. So now I have a couple where they're bits and pieces pads. So I need to go back and clean those up. Maybe that'll be like a TV watching project. I think this one, I don't have any whole pieces of paper left. And this one I have maybe two and I don't really like them. I think I didn't like them because I was using this paper to make cards for some of my YouTube friends and it was a skiing theme. And I don't know if you guys ski, but I don't ski, so it didn't seem relevant to me. <laughs> it wouldn't be a bad paper, just not really something that I need. Then I'm still using both of the glues. You're gonna see in my videos that I'm grabbing the different bottles. I'm thinking about refilling my art glitter glue today. I've been thinking about that for a while though. It's literally a matter of grabbing the bottle out because if I refill it, maybe it won't do that fountain thing so bad. If memory serves me, it does the fountain when the room is warm, when the glue is lower and this is pretty empty. So I'll fill that. The one thing I am having a little bit of trouble with with Barely Art, and it's not the glue's fault, it's a learning curve for me, is Art glitter glue dries pretty quick and grips pretty quick. So when I take a die cut and I put glue on the back of it and then I set it down and I go to like push on it, I'm having more trouble with barely art sliding because I haven't given it enough time or been careful enough with it because I assume it's a little drier. That's me, that's not the glue's fault. And many people might say that that's a benefit because you have more time to work with it, right? Where you set your art glitter down 
or your dye with your art glitter glue on, you realize it's crooked or not quite where you want it, and you don't even have time to pivot it. Here, I see that you have another second. And maybe it's only second, but it happens. So that's where I am with glue. Happy Hanukkah. If you celebrate Hanukkah, we're kind of right in the middle of it. This week, I have been decluttering more. I'm listening to another audiobook on decluttering. Those kind of help me. They're inspiring. You can listen to an audiobook and you can put your headphones on. Your family doesn't even have to hear it and tidy or craft and do things. This week, I'm going through my CDs. Mr. Crafting and Relaxing makes fun of me because I have CDs, but I do. I have CDs and I like them. <laughs> and I know we have many other music platforms now, but still. I have Happy Mail here from Crafty Reasons, who is Brandy. And so I have another one of these beautiful yellow butterfly stamps. And then let's see, she does some really cool coloring. Oh, and she did not disappoint. Look at that. So it is a gnome riding a reindeer and she's colored it. She does Copic coloring and just really, really neat stuff. Look at that, wishing you lots of joy. Oh, thanks Brandy. That is so darling. Thank you so much, Brandy. That's super, super sweet. She commented on my new space and how it's coming along. So those videos will keep rolling out and you'll get to see how I'm doing as far as getting it cleaned up and moved in. It's not that I wasn't living in it. It's just that when you significantly change your storage space, you have to rethink things. I also have not been shopping. I am only buying like consumable items. Like I had to buy ATG refills, of course. Nothing too crazy, no paper because whew, paper is just so hard for me to walk away from. It's all so pretty. Okay, this is Happy Mail that I already opened. It was from my friend Tony, who is a longtime family friend, and so I wasn't sure, and I didn't open it on camera. But what she sent is cool stuff. So she is an all-around crafter and gardener, and, like, she is someone that you want to be friends with, for sure. Does cool projects. She's, if you go to visit her, she's like, you know what we should make today? And she always has all the stuff set out. And she has just a lot of neat ideas. I sucked her into paper crafting about maybe a year ago. And so now she takes all of her other craft experiences and life experiences and rolls them into crafting and comes up with great ideas. So in my happy mail, she has sent me a little metal file. And she put blue duct tape on the end of it for me because she knows I like the blue. And it's kind of nice, like a little handle. This she did for the nubs on dies. You know, when you buy dies and you cut that thing off with your things and you don't quite get it right. Uh, my apologies if this is horrible for you, metal on metal. And then you just take this thing and you can file that down. Now, I hadn't done it. I just opened it up and set it aside. But then you're not catching on your fingers because we've all had that. Okay, so I'm going to file that when you guys aren't listening because I don't want to push too hard. I bet it'll sound horrible on camera. But that's what that's for. Then she sent me a bunch, which I'm super excited about. And I knew exactly what these were for because if you watch my junk journaling video that's going to roll out, you're going to see that I had clothes pins and a bunch of stuff. These are for holding things when you're gluing. So when I glue stuff in my book, what was I clamping last night? Okay, here's an example. I glued this pocket down here and then you have these little clamps. They have these nice flat bases on them, which you don't necessarily get quite as well with a clothespin little mouth. And you just put it right there and then, I don't know, you could tidy your room while the glue is drying, or you could just stand there and hold it like I do sometimes. But I put clamps on that one. I think I did on this one. And that's another example too. If you're using Barely Art, you need that extra bit of time. So I am super excited for these, Tony. Thank you very much. Then she has the cute, this cute ribbon with snowman on it. Adorable. And let's see what else. She just packed it with goodies. So she put in a caliper and she said it's for super detailed measuring, right? And it's handy because it just opens up to the different shapes. So if you want to figure out, okay, how long is this die when I'm cutting my pieces of paper? 
and a die is a great example because they wiggle and they're hard to, then you can measure it like this, right? And just get an idea. You can also take your googly eyes really easily and measure something like that. So that one is a 10 millimeter. Oh, it also has inches. I'd probably just use the millimeters. I'm still a little unclear on why we in the US measure things the way we do. Very neat, thank you, Tony. And then this last one, okay, I don't know, I don't have anything like this. It's like a little tiny cutter thing. Am I supposed to, is this for like trimming super detailed paper? Let me see how it does, oh, wow. Yeah, they're like little tiny amazing scissors. Really cool. These I might use on ribbon a lot because it's hard to cut your ribbon nice if your scissors are dull. Very cool, thank you, thank you. Then look at this. She's got this little bag of fun embellishments. And it's so fun to share your embellishments because you know, you have stuff that other people don't have and we don't all need a whole container of them, right? Look at these. And those will glue on just fine and mail. For me, I need embellishments that mail really well right now because I'm not having lunch with friends or going out or seeing coworkers. I'm not hand delivering any cards like I normally would be. And then these little Santa brads are adorable. And again, you can always just grab the back of that brad and fold it back and forth and it'll fall off. And then you can put them on with glue dots instead if you want. Make them flatter and also you don't have to plan ahead if you've already glued your card together. Look at that. There's a Mrs. Santa too. Those are precious. So precious. She sent me two of each, looks like. And then some cute paper clips. Colored paper clips are nice too. Add it. Here's an example. Add a bit of ribbon to or fluff and put in your journal like these. They just, you know, nice way to mark a page. Fun embellishment. Oops, I'm dropping things everywhere. Don't worry. I'll I'll recover them. Those are precious. Oh, look, I, sa I saved the stamps too. Those are cool. Tony's talking about making a, like a COVID stay at home journal. And so she put together a packet for me to make a junk journal with too. And I want to show you some of this stuff in here because she has some cool ideas. Okay. Oh, look, she stamped the back with trees. So that could be a fun embellishment. And some of these things would be the page itself in a book, you know, it could be a book just like this. It would be the page or some would be the embellishment. So here, so you could cut out any of these parts. You could fold it and stitch it in. If it was bigger or if you just wanted a tiny little book, this could be your cover even. You could score it and score it and that could be the cover. Oh, a bank envelope. That's fun. All sorts of envelopes I save, right? Everyone needs a friend and it's little bunnies. Be wild. These are cute. I'm not sure what collection these are out of or where she got them, but super cute. Oh, Park Lane stars. I'm going to set those aside. We might need those today. Some more stars. These are iridescent. And again, these are all flat things, so you can put them on cards and use them. Okay, so look what she's done with these bags. I want to show you a couple of them, and I just want to go through them quick. So she's taken bags here and decorated them. And on this one, she put brads right here and made this a pocket. So she stamped here, inked up here, cut the edges cute, brads, some washi, and that's a pocket. Very cute. That could go on your page in your journal. Just like that. And you could even put your journaling card back in there. So a neat way to have decoration and plenty of room to write. And here's another one, a bigger version. And she's got a card ready to go if you wanna use that one. I like that she inked back there and that they have multiple pockets. Then look at this one. She's done more on this one too. Inked the bottom, all kinds of fun brads. And she made another pocket up here and inked it. So these are just brown paper bags. You don't have to buy anything. You just have to save your trash. Now, these little ones, she must have bought this one. Or maybe it's from a hardware store. Cute as can be. Really precious. So, I wanted you to see those bags. And then, she's got some other neat ideas in here. 
she took crosswords and decorated them and it's all about stars. And if you watch my channel, that makes sense to you and you know why. So she's got a couple of them in here. This one, she's glued onto a star paper and it says star, starry night, stardust, once upon a, and then look at this one. She's got stars that she die cut or punched out, superstar, starry night, starlight, star bright, and another cute star right there. So really fun way to use the newspaper or stuff that you would recycle. You can have your theme. Your your crossword puzzle could be all about Christmas or it could be all about a new baby girl if you were doing some sort of baby album. All kinds of things. I love that idea, Tony. Really fun. It's so fun to have people who bring in brand new fun ideas. I love it. And then here she's got other like cards and different things. I'm not going to go through each one, but I wanted to show you this one. She took a money roll. Do you guys have any of these sitting around in your house? In the U.S., long ago, we used to roll our coins when you took them to the bank. You had to before they had the fancy counter machines. And then she made it a pocket. That would be super cute on a journal page. And if you didn't want the dime stuff to show, you could cover it up. But I would leave it because it's fun. It's fun to see what sort of ideas. Ooh, this is, I haven't looked in here. This is a cute bag. And there's something in it. Oh, it's all owl stuff. That one has glitter and stuff on it and owl stickers. And another little super cute bag. It's a hoot. <laughs> I don't know what this, it's like all themed, like it came together. Super, super cute. Fun, fun. Well, thank you so much, Tony. And I hope the rest of you got some inspirational ideas from this. I don't have, in our household, I don't think we have tiny clamps like this. I don't want Mr. Crafting and Relaxing to see them. I'll keep them hidden. Okay, I think that's it for today. The only other thing I wanted to let you know is a movie idea for this week to keep your spirits up and find something to do. I watched a movie called Peanut Butter Falcon, like the food, Peanut Butter Falcon. And I watched it on Amazon Prime for free. I think you could watch it on Hulu or some other places. Heartwarming, super cute. I would recommend that movie if you haven't seen it. I hope you have a great day and it's filled with crafting and relaxing. If you wanna see if I get on a roll, then you can watch me on Instagram later today. Oh, and don't forget to like this video. I forget to say that, but it really does help if you give me a thumbs up. Thanks, bye-bye.